So this first picture, I suppose, takes me back to the beginning of my story. Um, as a young girl, I really loved getting dressed up. Um, I used to spend hours going through my mum's jewellery boxes and dressing up and really playing creatively with fashion, accessories and jewellery. And right from that age, really, I was drawing and sketching fashion and creativity was a huge part of my beginning of my story, I suppose. And that then brings me up to current day, which is my everyday life. I am a stylist and journalist, so um, this is me sort of every day styling photo shoots, advertising campaigns, um, working on fashion features. So my everyday has kind of evolved right through to here and now, but I still have the same passions. This next photo is a huge part of my life. My other half, Niall, probably my better half. Um, he's been in my life for 16 years and um, we're very happy and we've kind of evolved together and our stories are very much a massive part of each other's lives. This next photo uh, takes me to a very important person in my life then and now. It's my mum, Fiona. Um, she is a really stylish lady and um, has very much kind of influenced my style as an adult. Here she's wearing a sort of 50s floral swimsuit which I have today. I kind of customised and changed it a bit but I love her style and I have loads of pieces of her clothing and jewellery and wear them every day and will continue to do so I think. This picture shows a, a kind of dis different aspect of my life. Um, this is a, a River Ebro in, in Spain and a, we were kayaking down at the summer and I've just picked this picture because it's a whole other kind of relaxation outside my life, outside my career and it makes up a really big part of who I am now and part of my story. And my final picture um, I've chosen because it really sums me up. I'm standing in the middle of a big chaotic uh, flea market abroad and filling up my bag with all sorts of treasures and bits and pieces to upcycle and recycle and to wear and to gift to people and it really is a massive part of who I am being a hoarder and a collector and I love showing it all on me all at once sometimes. Uh, so that's all my pictures and they make up my story. This item is really important to me and quite precious. Um, it's just a, an old chain I picked up years ago and on it it's kind of, I suppose, an old school um, charm necklace. They're all different pieces I've picked up over the years, mainly from abroad. Um, this one, for example, is a Tibetan double dorji, which is a sign of uh, protection, so I love to wear that when I travel. Um, this is um, a Nepalese um, symbol of strength. This is a piece of jade, which was an heirloom from a family friend, so um, it's been passed on from, I think, five generations. This piece is a pink quartz, which is um, good for protecting your heart chakra and it's very healing. And then lastly, I have on there a little gold horseshoe, which a friend gave me for good fortune. I've picked this item to show with something that I find quite sentimental because I've had it for a very long time and it kind of symbolizes what I love about fashion. It's an um, authentic Japanese kimono robe, so I kind of wear it as a dressing gown just, but it's um, everything I love in those beautiful rich colours. It's all hand embroidered um, and there's been real skill and time being put into making it. And I'm always really drawn to luxurious fabrics and textures, so I love this piece and I think I'll always wear it. So I've put together my story here and picked several little charm symbols. I've gone for the um, pendant rose gold in the teardrop. I love rose gold, I tend to like mix my metals and it's one of my favourites for necklaces definitely. Uh, the first symbol I've gone for is the gold peace sign. I like to think of myself as a bit of a hippie at heart so um, I'd like that in there for a bit of fun. The next uh, symbol I have is a rose gold star and that holds a really significant memory for me. Um, it was when I was travelling with my partner um, in the mountains of Yosemite and we had an amazing night uh, stargazing and it just, it, it'll always bring back a smile to my face so that's in there. The next I have two gemstones, a sapphire and a garnet and they're actually my two favourite stones which I wear every day on this hand and the garnet um, symbolises my partner's birth month 
and the sapphire is by birth month September and then I've gone on to the little silver infinity sign I love the infinity symbol because it represents kind of the cycle of life and constant possibilities and opportunities and in my job I'm forever finding new things I want to do and ways to embrace my career and further my career so that's a lovely symbol to have in there to keep me going. And the next symbol I've gone for is a gold horseshoe. I've picked this because I believe in life you make your own luck and especially in my job um, I'm having to always trying to create new possibilities and further my career which I love to do and that's something to keep me remembering to make my own luck and to keep growing in my career every day. So the last symbol I've gone for is the rose gold feather. I love the symbol of a feather, it represents uh, constant evolution, spiritual evolution and I think of myself as quite a spiritual, spiritual person. So um, that's something that reminds me to stay grounded every day. Um, it's really lovely to have all these pieces together and make up my story and I know it's going to be something I keep really precious to me to have all these memories around my neck every day.